Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking and starting a new chapter on this YouTube channel and I'm really excited for it. And that is we're going to be talking about productivity and how to be more productive specifically in college. Now, when I first entered college, I had this idea from high school, this grind mindset that if you put in the work and you go to all your classes and study really hard, you'll do well, because that's what all my teachers told me. However, that's not the case. And we're gonna talk about why. So why are students who are grinds in college sometimes not as successful as they were in high school? Well, something I experienced when I came in my freshman year is I started going to all my classes and trying to learn the same way I had during high school. The problem is during high school, teachers teach to the test, whereas in college, they teach whatever they want during the class period and then test on sometimes completely different things. So how do you know what you're getting tested on? You don't. In reality, college is all about teaching yourself how to learn. So I really struggled with transitioning from what I had been taught on how what was how to learn to what in reality was how to learn. I'm gonna give you my top productivity tips during college to be able to get good grades and have more time to be able to do what you love. I love rock climbing and I love paragliding. In order to do those things, I have to modify the way I study so that I can have more free time and focus only on what matters most. Tip number one, don't go to class. And I mean it. Students when they transition from high school sometimes have a hard time with this concept. The reality is most of your professors in college are wasting your time. Most of what they test on might already be on their PowerPoint slides which are already posted or might have nothing to do with the lecture series that you receive in class. Now this depends on each class so what I make sure to do is show up the first couple weeks if attendance is not required and feel it out to see what uh, what kind of things the professor might be testing on. However, this has been one of the most beneficial time-saving strategies for me as I've been able to focus my time on the things that I love to do and on studying. So how do you do this? Instead of going to class, use the same time blocks to study for the class in a more efficient way. How I usually do this is I pull up the PowerPoints of the things that I'm learning and I look at either the learning objectives, which should be condensed material on what is most likely to be tested, or I ask myself the question on every slide, what type of information could be tested? As I go through the slides, it becomes apparent that facts and figures for some classes, trends for some classes are what are most likely tested. During this time, I make a review sheet of all the things that I think are the most important and then I can spend more time doing the things that I love. If class is mandatory, this might be a little bit trickier for you and you might have to find a solution that's either in between or end up going to class. If you're required to be in class, do the same process except for ignore what your professor is saying and create the review during class. So you've, you're in attendance and then you also are able to study during that time period instead of wasting it listening to things that may or may not be on the test. Strategy number two, block out your time. Make sure that you don't go crazy on this one. I know students who create a schedule where they're, they've blocked out every 30 minutes of their entire lives. And in reality, you don't need to do this. The only things that you do need to do are make sure that you have enough time to get enough sleep, study enough, and be able to have some time for friends. Now, you're gonna have to put in the work at some point. You can't just only have fun. But what I've found is the better I've become at this process, the more time I've had for friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you use it. Being more productive in your life is something that can help you to enjoy your life more. I know it's helped me enjoy my life more and helped me do the things I love. I would have never been able to learn to paraglide or be, been able to rock climb or been able to do all of these fun things if I hadn't learned to be more productive during class. Take these productivity tips and apply them. Remember to skip your classes efficiently and use that time to study for the same class instead. I will see you guys next week and I hope you have a good week and enjoy this. Until next time.